Joining us to discuss is European Commission Executive Vice President Margaret Vestiar. She joins us from South by Southwest. Commissioner Vestiar, it's great to have you back. Welcome. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you very much for having me. So let's start with the Apple fine, because that was just last week. It was a big one by, by your standards, moved Apple stock. Apple responded in a pretty fiery response, I would say. They, they think the decision that you reached had failure to uncover, and I'm quoting them, any credible evidence of consumer harm and ignores the realities of a market that is thriving, competitive, and growing fast. What do you say to that? Well, I think it is quite uh, obvious that there is consumer harms if consumers have no choice to find the cheaper offer of their favorite music streaming services. Uh, there are music streaming apps uh, on the Apple uh, App Store. And of course, you can choose to pay the 30% fee, but it would be good if you could also know that you can go to the service's own website and get a cheaper offer. And, and that is what we are challenging, saying, you can have your fee, you can have your 30%, but you cannot say to those who uses your service, you cannot tell your customers that there is a cheaper offer. You cannot communicate with your customers yourself. Was there evidence, though, of consumer harm? Well, if you look at the price uh, difference, uh, because these uh, app developers, they have no choice but to pass on the Apple fee to their consumers. You see, this is a 30% price increase compared to what you otherwise could have paid. And I think most people would agree that that kind of price increases, depending, uh, comparing to a cheaper offer, that is real harm to consumers. Also in their response, they, they targeted Spotify pretty sharply, saying they were the primary advocate, which you know, and the biggest beneficiary. They say that you met with them 65 times during the investigation. You feel like you were caught between a corporate battle between Spotify and Apple and, and sided with the home team, which is based in Sweden? Well, not personally, uh, obviously, since uh, I have a ton of th other things uh, to do as well. But it is true that in every case we have, we work with market participants, which means that we have very, very, very good experience in figuring out what is real proof and what is just vested interest. Uh, and that, of course, is, is absolutely key. It will also go to the compliance of the Digital Markets Act that we would want to hear from third parties. Do they get what the DMA is supposed to give them, which is an open market where they can compete? Do you call the fine, I think, a speeding ticket for Apple, obviously, in the, in the context of Apple's overall market cap and their profitability? What, what is the point of these fines? Does anything actually change in the underlying business? Well, it's a fine that's the equivalent of 0.5% of, uh, of global turnover. So obviously, this is not a fine that would sort of shake uh, Apple as such. What it does is that it punish past behavior and for the future not to be able to say to their uh, app developers, listen, you cannot tell your customers that there is a cheaper offer. And obviously, it's a forward-looking approach uh, to this that is a really crucial thing, that things actually change so that consumers have choice. So... I remember follow, talking to you back in 2016 about the case, the back taxes case, where you find Apple $14 billion in Ireland. That is still caught up in the courts and going back and forth. I do wonder, you know, Apple plans to challenge this one. Alphabet is challenged. How, how long you expect this to play out before eventually getting some sort of resolution? Well, that is indeed difficult to say uh, because the court sets its own calendar. And the European Union is a union built on the rule of law, so obviously 100% legitimate to go to court and to challenge our decisions. But it is for the court to take it, uh, it time and to take its decision, and then, of course, we'll all learn from what they say.